What's the best kind of chart to use for a grid bot? I know this feels redundant. I've already talked about this before and you should know by now that it's sideways market movement, but you'd be surprised. So I, I do wanna share a couple of tips on this though. A couple of things that I would look out for when it comes to establishing what could be a really, really great chart for, for a grid bot would be a couple of things. The first thing is obviously sideways action, but I wanna make sure that the grid bot is not working in a, a huge, enormous range. I avoid anything with a bottom to top spread of over 20%. The reason is because if I wanna start my bot right away and I'm starting it towards the top of that and all of a sudden it starts to fall, I'm already at a loss and I'm not gonna be making a lot of profit right away. And if that spread happens to be 50, 60, 70%, that's gonna be really painful on my account. So in the same vein, I wanna make sure that when I'm starting my grid bot, that wherever it is on whatever chart, I wanna be patient and wait till the price is down towards the bottom range of the grid bot. Again, if I start my grid bot at the very top and it starts to buy and buy and sell, that's great. But as soon as the price falls back down to what's established support, then I'm gonna be down 20, 30, 40% because I've had to buy all those tokens at the very top and now I'm just holding them, which means it's gonna take even longer for me to break even. So again, you wanna focus on charts that have a tighter range for your grid bot and you wanna to try to start them closer to the bottom area or the bottom, the bottom part of that range. You can use grid bots on trending charts, but you're not gonna to wanna to use them on charts that are trending down that will be bad. Make sure that if you're looking for charts that are trending, find charts that are slowly trending up that do have a range. Avoid at all costs any charts that just go straight up and they go straight down. Those are not gonna be very, very good for your grid bots. It's gonna be very volatile. So try to find charts that are just slowly moving up you will have to manually intervene and readjust and edit your grid bot so that way you're following it up in the range, but that's another type of chart that you can look for that would work well. Last tip for you, there are a few odd cryptocurrencies that have this mechanism behind it where they automatically restabilize to a certain price. Uh, a ticker, for example, would be like Ampleforth. Now, if you look at the chart for Ampleforth, you'd be thinking, this is an incredible bot trading chart for grid bots, right? The problem with this though, is that this token has a liquid supply, meaning that you may buy a ton at 140 or like $1.40 or whatever, but if the, if the price moves up, you actually are gonna lose a little bit of your supply. And if the price goes down, you might have a little bit more. It fluctuates, it changes, and it's a bad idea. So you wanna be careful that just because the chart looks good, you might wanna look into the protocol to make sure that it's not an auto rebalancing token because that could cause a lot of unwanted pain in your account. And that was just a freebie that I wanted to share with you.